So to get started, for anyone who's new tonight, I just want to welcome you. My name is Tammy Shia. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm happy to have you tonight. Welcome to Facebook Live in the Hive, all right? So let me show you tonight's cards. We're gonna be using the Rainbow of Happiness Suite, and we're gonna make this quick card. I can't even tell you how quick this is gonna be, all right? So get ready to write down those measurements. That's gonna be our first one. And then we're probably going to do this one second, all right? We're using a new paper, ladies. It's simply marbleless, all right? So that's my celebration pick of the week right there, the Simply Marvelous. All right, so we have that card. And then we're actually gonna do some stamping with the rainbow. You've seen this layout before because it's just like the calendar, all right? So that's our third card. We're gonna have lots of winners tonight at the very end. And our fourth card, we're going to use the giant rainbows, all right? I know the tone on tone is fun, Diane. And if I had to had time, I would have made um, one of these in every one of these marvelous colors, but I just didn't have the time to do that today. All right, well, I'm gonna put these back in, their, in the correct trays. And we are going to start with the supplies for this very first card, okay? So all of you know that we worked with the Rainbow of Happiness last Wednesday night. If you didn't see it, then go ahead and catch last week's video for the calendar. And the dies look like this, all right? These are the brilliant rainbow dies. You can bundle the stamp set and the dies and save 10%. Hi, Doris, welcome. Tell us where you're from. This might be your first night with us. So nice to have new friends with us. Okay, so that's Brilliant Rainbows Dies, which we're gonna dig into again tonight. All right, all right. I'm so glad everybody likes the cards. All righty, so you're gonna be seeing some of this gorgeous designer paper. I guess I better show you this really quickly. This is a sunshine and rainbow designer paper. And it's one of the freebies when you um, purchase, um, when you have an order of $50 or more. This paper, it's 48 sheets. Um, it can be yours free, all right? So Doris is from Iowa. So good to have you, Doris. All right, so this is the cloud paper. And then here is the Bermuda Bay. You're gonna see this paper again tonight on prop, most of the cards, along with the marvelous paper. Then we have this, and then this one. Isn't this awesome paper? It's so cheerful, especially this time of year when it is so cold. All right, so there's another piece. Look at these bright sun, the bright sunshine. Here's the opposite piece. We're about to use, well, no, I used it on one card. We're gonna use a different piece. That's some misty moonlight right there. This is the opposite side. And then we have this. And this is the opposite side of it as well. And then we have this sheet. And these rainbows can be cut out with the rainbow dies, which is pretty awesome because you can get six rainbows out of this one sheet of paper. So that's the paper. There are a few more pieces, but I've used them all and I've loved it a lot. It's been really, really fun. All right, so we're gonna start with a standard piece of cardstock, all right? And this measures this measures eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. Now on the eight and a half inch side, you do need to score it at four and a quarter inches, all right? Yeah, the, the paper is a great freebie, absolutely. So now we're gonna use this um, Sunshine and Rainbows designer paper and the measurements 
five and a quarter inches and four inches. So this is gonna cover our card base, almost cover it anyway, all right? So I'm just gonna add some seal to this. And then I am just going to center this. And I'll be giving away this card tonight so it will go home with someone tomorrow. Tomorrow morning is a big mailing day for me, so I promise I'm gonna get these out tomorrow. All right, here's some vellum. And this measurement is four and a half inches by three and a quarter inches, all right? Now for the vellum, I am just going to take some seal and I just ran it across the middle and then I'm going to center, okay? And that's all I did there. You probably can't even see the adhesive. Even if you do see the adhesive, we're gonna be covering it up. <clears throat> Then we're going to punch out some clouds with the new cloud punch. It's in the mini, <clears throat> page 18. I am going to, you're just gonna love these clouds. It is just so awesome. Look how it punches them out. I'm going to get my scissors here and I'm gonna trim around some of these clouds. And then I'm gonna take this one. Look at the sunshine in this cloud. Isn't that awesome? Hi, Jeannie from Woodstock. We're happy to have you tonight. All right, and this one, all right? So you can select any clouds you want. This is the cloud punch. Even without the designer paper, I recommend the cloud punch because you're gonna find that you're gonna use it a lot. All right, now, I know y'all are surprised by the fact that I am going to pop up this cloud, right? <laughs> yes, Diane, I'm glad you got the cloud punch. I really am. All right, I'm gonna add a cloud there. This is just so easy to do. That's why I decided to show you this last card. It's simple, but it's fun. And then when your Rainbow of Happiness bundle arrives along with the paper, you can make this card. I'll put one up here, and then I should have one more cloud here. All right, I might as well leave my dimensionals out. You know I'm gonna pull them out again, okay? Linda, I'm sorry it's frozen on your end. Everything seems to be fine on my end, so let's hope it stays that way. Now we've got two strips. All right, let me see if I can find my other strip. Here it is, right here. And I'm actually going to take the Banner Triple Punch, and I'm gonna use this one right here. It's called Banner's Pick-A-Punch. It's item number 153608. I wish all my punches had this information on it, um, but I haven't had time to do that. All right, I'm just gonna slide this paper up here. I'm gonna look at the back of it, and I'm gonna punch it, all right? I'm gonna do the same to this piece, all right? I'm just gonna slide it in. You can slide it in right in the guide, but then I like to flip it over and I like to make sure that I am in the middle, all right? Because sometimes when you flip it over, your paper moves just like mine did. All right, let's see here. All right, that's pretty much in the middle. It's a little off center, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Get that out of the way. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and just use some uh, seal here. All right, I'm just gonna do that. And I'm gonna use some seal on this. Hey, I may end up popping this up, we will see. I'm making that one a little crooked there. And you know, I may not have brought, I brought my ink over here, but did I bring the stamp? You know me, okay ladies, I gotta find the stamp. And there, that's what we are stamping there. Okay, 
I found it. Not only did I stamp with it today, but I forgot to clean it off. So I've got some Bermuda Bay already on it. This label right here is from Tasteful Labels, okay? And I don't have that over here to show you, but Tasteful Labels is in the annual book. It is going to be popped up. Does this ever happen to you? I pulled my dimensional up and the back of the paper came with it. So I have to peel that off and then peel again. And we're gonna add it right here. All right, so that's my card. Quick and easy, as soon as your supplies arrive, make this card, okay? You will feel like you've accomplished a lot and you can make several of these. You'll notice I've used two different designer papers in the Sunshine and Happiness paper pack. So you'll be able to do that as well. By the way, you get four of each double-sided design in the package, giving you 48 sheets, all right? And so you'll be able to make a lot of these, all right? So you'll have that sense of accomplishment because when it arrives in the box, you've got your go-to card right here, okay? All right, so that's our first card. And we're gonna move on to number two. All right, I just wanna make some more room here. Make some space, okay? Because we will be bringing in our stamp and cut emboss machine. I'll zoom in so you can get a good close look at it while I take a sip of water. Okay. Alrighty. So I want to show you the Simply Marvelous paper. You're going to notice it behind this die cut shape. I know I'm loving the purple. The purple rosemary is Highland Heather, okay? Open it up. Look at this beautiful, marvelous paper. All right, so I wanna show you what that paper looks like. And I know I brought it over here. I just know I did. What did I do with it? No, I thought I brought it over here. All right, so let me grab the, oh, it's right here. Okay, with creating four cards, it's a lot of supplies for me to have on this tiny table. Okay, so this one is balmy blue. Now this is called Simply Marvelous. And let's look it up in the celebration. This is my celebration pick for this week. Okay, here it is, all right? And if you look at this paper and look at this little otter stamp, is he not cute? Look at the, the um, cards that have been made using this. So it's pages 10 and 11, and it's called Simply Marvelous. It is item number 158128, okay? All right, so we've got the balmy blue, and ooh, look at this one. I forgot to look up all the um, coordinating colors. So if somebody wants to look and type those out for me, that would be awesome. Um, here's the marble side, and here's the opposite side of it, okay? Isn't that pretty? That looks like quartz, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure, hmm, is that Blushing Bride? I'm not sure, y'all need to look that up for me. This is probably Bumblebee. And here's the opposite side. Then we've got Highland Heather. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Tina's getting her paper on Friday. All right, this is Coastal Cabana. And here's the opposite side, okay? And then I'm gonna assume, oh, thank you. Blushing Bride and Flirty Flamingo. Thanks, Carol. Bumblebee and So Saffron. Thank you, Carol. Is this Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape? 
It probably is. And I'm gonna assume this is gray granite and smoky slate. And then our last one, this is balmy blue. And is it pool party? This here is Coastal Cabana and Pool Party, all right? <laughs> Yay, Rosemary likes the paper. So this is what we're gonna use to create our very next card. Okay, Smoky Slate and Basic Gray. Thank you, Carol, you are a lifesaver. Okay, so the paper I have shown you, and now I'm going to get out a few supplies. We're actually going to make one in Coastal Cabana. Are you ready for this? Coastal Cabana. And I will also give you measurements for this, okay? All right. This die right here, I've already pre-cut for us. And it's stitched so sweetly. And it happens to be the largest um, scallop die, okay? Oh, so balmy blue and misty moonlight. Awesome. Very good, Carol. Thanks. Okay, so stitch so sweetly, and it's in basic white, all right? And then the next um, uh, stamp we're gonna use is from Basic Borders. Doesn't it look like clouds? So I'm going back to Basic Borders, love these. And this is the one that we are going to use to, to get us those clouds, okay? This is an awesome coordinating product. And then we're going to need a rainbow die. Here it is. All right, and do we need, we might need, um, we might need a cloud. I'm trying to think if we do. Okay. All righty. So let's get started. We're going to start with, um, we need that and that and this stitched piece right here. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring in the stamp and Cut emboss machine. That's a mouthful, isn't it? I'm going to zoom out a bit. Okay, I've got my camera pretty close tonight. All right. All righty, so let's go ahead. We're gonna start with this die right here. And um, you're, I'll start on this side so you all can see numbers. We're gonna cut with a die, so we need platform one. Platform two, we need a number three, then our paper, and then we're going to position the rainbow in the center, okay? And I think that will look good right there. All right, we'll even those up, and we're just gonna roll this through, okay? Sorry about the shaking the camera. Where do I, oh, my magnetic sheets, Doris. Doris, they are from Stampin' Storage. If I think about it, Doris, I'll try and provide a link after class tonight. If you don't see a link, will you just remind me? You can Facebook message me, and I can let you know, but the company is Stampin' Storage. All right, so I'm basically just taking these little white uh, pieces out of the rainbow. All right, so this piece is done, and this one's gonna be a little trickier for us to cut. We're gonna use this basic border. These are in the annual catalog. They were new last year, okay? And they are awesome. I love this piece because it looks like clouds, all right? Now, I'm gonna use one of my techniques, and you all know what that is. It's um, hold your breath, and we're gonna roll this thing through, okay? 
and hopefully it's going to stay right in place, and it should. Not too worried about that one moving, okay? All righty. All right, we have cut that out. This is Coastal Cabana cardstock. Now, I do want to cut one little cloud, okay? And so, we're gonna be using this sheet of paper tonight, but you're not going, well, you might see the middle. You know what, let me grab a scrap piece of this one. I've got some scrap paper right there, and we just need one cloud, okay? And I thought I'd cut one. You know, I'll find it later, right? Because that's how it that's how it always works, especially something that little. It's so easy to lose. All right, okay. All righty. So I think we've got that done. I just need some help lifting it off. Okay. So now we are all ready to put our card together. Okay. All right. So, Doris, if you're still watching, Stampin' Storage has two types of magnets. They do sell a stamp case with magnets on this side. So sometimes I use these. And then um, other times, this basic borders, it's so universal and I use it with so many different projects that I put this on the six by seven magnet card, okay? <laughs> Suzanne says, may I ask what you do to keep your plaques so, my plate so flat? Um, good question, Suzanne. Um, I don't change them that often, but I will tell you this. When they get really bowed, I toss them. I know some people put them in the oven and flatten them back out. I don't really have time for baking. So when it gets really bad, I just toss it and move on. So that's what I do. So anyway, okay. So let's see here. Let's bring this card back. And I'm going to give you the measurement for your Simply Marvelous paper. Now, if you don't have this, use the Sunshine and Happiness Designer paper, okay? This is measuring three and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches, okay? <laughs> I'm laughing at what you said, Suzanne. You don't have time for bacon either, do you? <laughs> I'm gonna add some seal to the back of this, and I'm actually going to put it in this area so that um, it will stick to this paper, okay? I don't have to get too close to the edge, all right? And I'm actually gonna, I could use either side, all right? I could use this side. Let's see what it looks like if I use this side. This is what it would look like or I can use this side, which really makes it kind of cool looking. So I really like to use this side. Okay, so that part is done. And then we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. I used this last week on the calendar that we created. It's called After the Storm. It's featured in the annual catalog and it's item number 155038. And I'm going to be using a little sunshine for your day. We're gonna need some Coastal Cabana ink. And then it's a rubber mount stamp. And then we're just gonna stamp it right across, right under, right under the rainbow, okay? It's two different fonts. And so you're gonna notice that Sunshine is not a solid image. I'm not sure the name of this font, but it is supposed to look like that. I'll show you this one too. You can kind of see the font better in this one, okay? Alrighty. And so at this point, we are ready to uh, put this on the card. 
And yes, I'm gonna pop this one up. I know, isn't it fun, Jeanne, to have the paper behind the rainbow? And honestly, this paper works, the sunshine and happiness paper works. So whichever one you have, this is also a very simple card. So here's another card for you. As soon as your, um, your kid arrives, your bundle and your paper, this will be a simple card for you to make, okay? Let's go ahead and do the inside of this one. And this one measures five and a quarter inches. It's basic white and it's four inches. Okay, and we're just gonna tape this right inside the card. All right, and I'm just gonna center this. Okay, and then we're gonna add some marvelous paper. So we could add this side if we wanted, and that's what it looks like if we were to do that. And I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see. We can flip it over to this side. And it can look like that. So either one. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the less marbly side, the one that looks like quartz. All right. And then I'm going to add a stamp and you know, I promise you I'm organized, honestly, but I don't have this stamp. Can anybody guess where that um, sentiment is from? This is another celebration stamp set. It's called Special Moments, and we're going to use Thanks for Brightening Up My Day. Okay, so let's look at that in celebration, just so you know where it is. I think this is it right here. So this stamp set is a freebie with a $100 minimum purchase, okay? You can select that one, all right? <laughs> Thanks, Margaret. Margaret, when I have to get up to go get a stamp or to get a piece of paper, I don't feel very organized. <laughs> but it's a lot of stuff on this tiny table. All right, so let's go ahead and brighten up this card with a brightening up the day. All right, my stamp's a little crooked on the block, so I'm just gonna position this stamp kind of at a weird angle, all right? And I'm a little crooked on that one too. So it says, thanks for brightening up my day. Let's go ahead and add a few embellishments. Guess what? There's my cloud. I knew I would find it. We're gonna close this back up. We're gonna take this cloud. I know you're gonna be shocked. I'm gonna put a dimensional there, all right? And I think I'll put this right about here. Isn't that cute, adding that? Maybe I should have added the other side. Hang on, let's look. Do I want the other side? I don't know, they both kind of look cute together. But anyway, you can use either side there. And then I'm going to be using the in color dimensionals. I wanted some coastal cabana dimensionals, excuse me, embellishments and didn't find any. <laughs> Yay, Anita's got the special moments. Yay, Anita. All right, we're gonna add the soft succulent um, rhinestone there or jewel, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna use my take your pick tool here and pick up some of these rhinestones. And then I'm gonna put another big one over here. So what do you think? That's our second card, number two. All right. That one is number two. Okay, I'm gonna tidy up. Need just a few minutes to do that. Now, I ran out of time today, 
but I really wanted to make one of each one of the colors in the Simply Marvelous pack. I so wanted to do that, but ran out of time, so I could not get that done. Okay. All right, so let me move this tray. Now we're going to do some actual stamping, okay? All right, let's move some stuff around here. Okay. I'm so glad you like it. Yeah, if you get it, make one in every color. I wish I had time to do it. All right, now we're gonna actually do some stamping with the rainbow, and that's something that we haven't done. All right, so that's the card, in case you want a screenshot of that. Diane, that would make a great set. A very cute set to give away, absolutely. Okay, so you remember last um, Wednesday night, we made this calendar. So look at the layout. Today I decided to make it a different card, okay? So that's the nice thing about this calendar. Not only did you get a calendar or learn how to make a calendar, but you have a layout here that can be a card and you have a layout on this side that can be a card. Okay, so that's the beauty of the two-sided calendar. Now remember, this calendar kit is free. Everything is die cut, there isn't any stamping. And if you place an order this evening, okay, by midnight tonight, then um, I'm gonna send you the calendar kit, all right? And you can use any stamps, even if you don't have these stamps, you can use, um, similar stamps or sentiments, okay? All righty. So this is a photo polymer stamp set, and you're gonna see here, ladies, I've already taken the time to pre-cut. This border is part of the Rainbow of Happiness set, okay? It's in the die set, and let me see if I can tell you the measurements in case you wanna recreate this. If you cut this at about three and an eighth of an inch, okay, or even if you cut this at three and a quarter inches, that's gonna be wide enough, and then you can cut this border, okay? All right, so that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna get that done with a little bit of stamping, all right? Oh, thank you, Diana, that's such a nice compliment. Thank you so much, okay. So here's the stamp set, and you're gonna notice that we've got four of these rainbows, or do we call them rays? I don't know what you call them. I need to ask a weather person. You can also use this writing in the rainbow as well as these lines in the rainbow. Now when you open it up, you're gonna notice that this set has a diagram here so after you've used the pieces and you've cleaned them, then they can go back on here. And that way you'll know that you've got all your pieces before you close up your stamp set, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. It's a photopolymer stamp set. And let's see what we wanna start with first. You'll be able to see right through it, but it's probably best to have a stamp mat, okay? And they're in our annual book. I'm gonna start with the smallest um, rainbow, okay? I, I guess that's what I'll call it, or the smallest ray. And I'm inking this up in Magenta Madness, okay? And I'm starting with the smallest because I'm going to be building this rainbow. And if I start at the top, I may not have enough room for the bottom piece. Okay, so I wanna start at the bottom and I'm gonna put it in the center and I didn't measure, I'm just kinda of eyeing it. Okay, so there's our Magenta Madness right there. Our next color 
is going to be Granny Apple Green. All right, so that one goes next, and I'm gonna put that one about right there. Now, I'm not standing right over my rainbow, so it's a little hard to see it when you're sitting down. So there's Granny Apple Green. It is a solid image. So if your stamps are new, you might need to christen them a bit before you actually start um, um, stamping. So Diane has Googled, they are called ARCs. That is so good to know, Diane, thank you. So this is called an ARC. Now we have a name. Why didn't I think to Google it? Never occurred to me. I should have asked Siri. <laughs> Hi, Bess, how are you tonight? Now we're gonna use some Misty Moonlight and we're gonna add words. And we're gonna put them about right here. And you're gonna notice that the S kinda sits on top of the arc. And that S sits on top of the arc. Okay, so I'll bring that up closer so that you can see that. Isn't that fun? Now we have one more color and that's going to be Daffodil Delight, okay? Now I tried Bumblebee ink, but it was just, it was too dark for my rainbow and my paper, okay? So I'm going with the Daffodil. This is gonna be my last piece that I use. And I'm gonna put this about right here. And you know, quite honestly, this would probably be a great set to use with the Stamparatus because if you don't get that solid image, you can re-stamp it over and over by using the Stamparatus. But I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna go with that and I'm gonna close up the ink here. All right, and I'm actually gonna add a little baker's twine to this, okay, make it really fun. So let's see. I'll try and measure the thread for you in a second. So that needs to be longer. I'm just kind of wrapping this around. All right, so scissors. Ooh, I thought I didn't have my scissors there for a minute. Okay. So I'm not sure how much this is. I would say probably 18 inches, okay? So something like that. And I, I wrapped it around twice, okay? I've gotta separate this twine or I'm not gonna be able to see what I am doing. Okay. All right. Don't move. Now, if you have trouble with your ribbon, your twine moving, you can always put some adhesive on the back to kind of hold it in place, okay? I'm just gonna tie a bow. This is um, basic white twine, and you can find this in the annual book, okay? All right. Making that a little smaller now. Okay, trim that off. And now we're gonna be ready to um, put adhesive on this. Now, if this doesn't hold for you, you can always add a glue dot, okay? So let's start with some Granny Apple cardstock. This one actually measures four and a quarter inches by 11 inches, okay? And then you score it at the five and a half inch mark, all right? We're gonna add this Rainbow of Happiness paper. Here's another sheet. It's one of my faves. Look at the back, so cute. This actually measures two inches by five and a quarter inches, so I will show that to you. There's five and a quarter inches, okay? So two inches by five and a quarter. We're gonna add our snail. And then we're gonna center this on the cardstock 
and we want about a quarter of an inch all the way around just like that okay this is like my favorite piece of paper I love it now I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna add some seal to this and I need to add some down here hang on hang on hang on I'm just going to put it right on top of that baker's twine. And then we're just going to put this on the card base. And again, about a quarter of an inch all the way around. Okay. So that's what we have there. And that's our umbrella card. We are going to add some clouds. Okay. Now, on the original card, I added white clouds, but I wanna see, I actually cut some other clouds out. Here's one here, okay? And on the opposite side, it looks like there's rain in the cloud and they're both pretty cute. But I think I'm gonna go with this side. I think that'll make it really fun. This is from Sunshine and Happiness Designer Paper, okay? And I'm gonna put that one about right there. Clouds can be crooked, by the way. These clouds were cut using the dies in the Rainbow of Happiness set, okay? It's just one of the dies in there. These are both gonna get popped up. I know you're shocked. Let's use a smaller dimensional for that. <laughs> Isn't that fun, Lynn? This is this is what you missed last night, Lynn. You missed our calendar, and we missed you. Hi, Jacqueline. I'm so glad you like it. Jacqueline, I'm going to have to send you a calendar. Hey, Monica. Yay! Monica just finished her live, and now she's watching mine. So nice to have you, Monica. Thanks for joining. So that's our Rainbow of Happiness card, all right? So we'll give that away tonight as well. And we have one more card that we're gonna be working on. And I'm gonna show you now. Oh, Jacqueline, let me, Jacqueline hasn't, Jacqueline is my daughter and she has not seen last week's calendar. Look at the calendar, Jack. Isn't that cute? And it has a little stand. And look, look at the back. It's supposed to say you make me happy, but um, I messed up my paper and I haven't restamped it yet. I'm so glad you like this card, Melissa. Thank you. And see, it was just the same thing. I just adapted it to something else. Changed that layout just a bit. Thank you, Peggy. Thanks so much. <laughs> now my Aunt Ethel is talking to my daughter. I'll have the whole family watching sometime at one day, right? Okay. All right. Here's the other rainbow card. Now this time, ladies, I've used the Simply Marvelous paper, okay? So let's look at that rainbow die. And I actually put it here all right so with this die it will cut out these four pieces okay now if you are using four different colors you've got to cut let me see I don't know if I have a sample you've got to cut all four of those um, colors okay and then you're going to get um, you've got four arcs here and four times four colors is gonna give you 16 rainbows, okay? I hope that makes sense. Let me know if it doesn't, okay? Hey, Billy, welcome. Okay, so we are going to get our big shot out, okay? Oh no, Deborah, I don't know why you're only seeing your chat, I'm so sorry. All right, well, let's get started with our stamp and cut machine, and we're gonna cut out this umbrella, okay? All right, and again, I'm gonna bring the machine in here. We're gonna put that there. 
I'm going to put my rainbow over here. The reason I'm doing that is so that I don't waste the entire sheet of paper. I think I have to zoom out. All right, so I put the die here so I don't waste the entire sheet of paper. Okay. And then I'm going to add that and we're just gonna roll it through. It's just a simple roll through here and we're gonna get four arcs, okay? Now, if I want four different colors, I've gotta take four different colors of this sheet of paper and cut them out, okay? So, oops, hang on. This was on the edge, so I guess that's why it did not want to cut. All right. So here are the four rays, excuse me, they're arcs. According to Google, they are arcs, all right? So they're my purple ones, but I've already cut some other ones so that um, we can have a really pretty rainbow. Oh, and you know what? We're gonna do one more thing while I have the machine out. So hang on. We are going to emboss a piece of the basic white paper. This is measuring four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? All right. And then we're gonna put this, this is our gingham embossing folder. It is brand new, it is in the mini, and it's with the Sweet Talk Suite, okay? Hang tight there. All right. I had a hair on there. Um, let me look at my platform and see what I need to do here. Okay, so with this platform and an embossing folder, that's for 3D. This is for a regular standard embossing folder. I need platform one. I need the cutting pad, which is three. Embossing folder and another number three cutting pad or plate. And we just roll that right on through and we'll get that embossed paper, okay? All right. gotten our work done with the machine. Okay, let's see, where were we and where is the card? Here we go. You're gonna notice in this piece right here, I used a different embossing folder. And I may need your help for this one, ladies. This is in the annual book and it's a textured, it's a 3D folder. And I'm trying to remember the name of it and I don't remember. Sorry, cannot think. So anyway, so that's what it looks like with that embossing folder. And now we're gonna change up and we're gonna do the gingham embossing folder. Okay, so that's what we're gonna work on. Now I've already taken the time to cut the other arcs, okay? Now this, card looks super cool with these arcs popped up, okay? You can certainly adhere them with stamp and seal um, if you don't like dimensionals, but I do like these arcs popped up, so. Ooh, yes, so Peggy, you can put two designer paper sheets together, okay, and cut them, and it will cut fine, okay? So you can do two, no problem with that. Good question. All right, so that's our first arc. Now you're going to notice I have these pieces left, okay? They're going to make other rainbows. Thank you, Anita. Painted texture is what this is called. Painted texture, it's in the annual book, okay? All right, now, I've also cut out some Coastal Cabanas, so let's use this one next. It really doesn't matter which one you use next. One more 
more piece of paper. Hang tight. Can't seem to get that one. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And this is going to be our next one. Okay, isn't that pretty? And let's go yellow next. All right. So you can change the colors of your arcs depending on how many pieces of paper you end up cutting. But the paper's thin enough that you could cut two designer paper pieces at a time, okay? All right, so this is our next one. I think this was what, Bumblebee and So Saffron? I love how they combine two colors. This one here is Flirty Flamingo and Blushing Bride. What's nice about this rainbow is it fills up the front of the card. So you really don't have to do a lot of anything else. And here's our last one right there. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna add this to the card base. The card base is standard. By the way, I always love popping up a layer like this on a card base, it's so fun. It makes it look really cool, lots of dimension. And here's my card base right here. Okay, see, standard card base, nothing new there. And then we're going to center this right there. And then we're using the tailor-made tags, and I'm using this one right here, okay? So I want you to see what they look like. This is the smallest one with this top. And we've cut it out in basic white. I've already done that for you. Just a very basic cut, okay? And the words say, you make this world a better place. And this, um, the words for this, they are located inside the um, Rainbow of Happiness stamp set. So they're part of the stamp set. All right. <laughs> Yay, Peggy, I'm so glad you ordered it. Good for you. All right, a little more baker's twine, okay? Probably eight or 10 inches this time, all right? You're just gonna tie. You're gonna be tying this around the arc. Okay, just like that. My hands have gotten so dry that it's just making it hard to tie here. All right. So I am gonna be giving away all four cards that I made this evening, okay? So hang on to the end because that's what we're gonna do. Okay, and you can even make that um, the tails on the bow shorter if you want. So here are the two rainbow cards with Simply Marvelous. Thank you, Tina. Now, you know what else you can do with those arts? You can flip them over to the other side, which is what I did on this sample, okay? So you can, what I'm, you can flip your paper over and your umbrella can, um, excuse me, your arcs can go this way from, from left to right, or it can go right to left, all right? So it's just a matter of flipping over the designer paper. So I hope that makes sense. All right, let's go ahead and add 
let's add a cloud, okay? The cloud is punched with, um, with the cloud punch. And I'm gonna pull this one off because it got paper on it. Again, it's the Simply Marvelous paper. Oh, thank you, Diana. I'd love to send you one of these cards, Diana. And this is the cloud. I think this might be my favorite one. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in, let you look at that. That's the one we made tonight. This is the original one right here. And remember, I flipped over the designer paper. When you flip it over, you have the reverse. All right, so I hope that makes sense. All right. I really like this one. That turned out really cute. And you know, there's something else I'm gonna do if I can find it. I'm gonna take some of these in color um, rhinestones. And I just thought of this. Hang on one second. I'm gonna take, um, what color is this? Fresh Freesia. And let's put a little Fresh Freesia on the cloud. Just trying to pick up these things. You have two sizes on these. If you got my in color share box last year, last May, You've, you've got these rhinestones. Sorry. They're, they're really hard to move. Okay. We got to start over on that one. Thank you, Dawn. All right. So I'm going to give away these cards. You need to be sure that you comment so that your name can be in the drawing. What do you think of that? I think that dressed it up a bit. <laughs> 